I think for me, graduate student empowerment is not only about an awareness of all of the opportunities we have following graduation, following the completion of the dissertation, um, but also a real sense of intellectual self-confidence uh, that can get developed along the way. And the self-confidence that it takes to pursue the humanities in whatever capacity uh, feels right for the student. Graduate student empowerment to me means um, giving graduate students the skills and tools that they need to succeed in the careers that they want to pursue. Um, and that means giving them skills that are translatable to uh, professional jobs outside of the university setting. Um, it's also looking at um, graduate students in a holistic perspective, uh, making sure that they are taking care of themselves not only professionally but also personally, um, and making sure that they meet um, faculty meets graduate students where they are at um, in their life, um, whether that is um, getting married, having kids, um, or you know wanting to pursue a tenure track position. Um, empowerment is really getting to the student level. As although I'm a recent fairly recent PhD graduate. I'm also a staff member at the University of California system and so you know recognizing my position now I don't feel entirely comfortable defining graduate student empowerment but over the past three years the years in which we've been organizing humanists at work I have had the opportunity to see different forms of graduate student empowerment taking place and these are some of the things that I've noticed. One, when you include graduate students from the beginning and at every stage of the process, um, there is a way in which they not only perceive that their needs are being heard, but then get to act on it. Um, and the way that we program all of our events and our conversations and our online content is by including graduate students. And we've been, been able to see something that's I think that I would call graduate student empowerment as a result of their intense collaboration and inclusion. But the second thing I think that has been really exciting to see is the ways in which graduate students find strength in numbers. And so as there has been developing a community around Humanists at Work, a community in which graduate students feel free to talk about what they want to talk about, even if it makes some people feel uncomfortable, that they've been able to walk away with a sense of empowerment. And so this community has further developed and grown um, over the three years. And so I think that as I think about how do you, if you want to foster graduate student empowerment as a faculty member or as a staff member, I, those are two things that I would do. I would involve graduate students at every step of the process um, and as many graduate students as you can. And I would do whatever it took to help develop a community in which graduate students feel free to talk about um, their concerns, their interests, their ideas, um, and really be heard by the community. I think graduate student empowerment in terms of professionalization can mean several different things, right? Um, it can mean their ability to articulate, understand and articulate their own um, intellectual development, intellectual interests, their own understanding of their skill sets and how useful um, those are to the kinds of projects, goals, professional occupations and niches that they're interested in pursuing once they leave the university. Um, and or the academy. Um, and so the other part of their empowerment is for them to actually understand how their current environment, whether that's the university, the four-year university, operates so that they know where to go to seek out that information and the support network and support systems they need. And the other, I think, part of graduate student empowerment in terms of professionalization is the actual support and direction and mentoring that they get from those of us like faculty and directors of graduate units and um, deans of graduate division and such to actually provide as much as we can um, um, in terms of the exact kinds of needs that um, they will require to, to kind of get great placement and good work. My whole career from going back to graduate school in the late 1980s to now being a professor of English and a dean has been concerned with my own interest in being an empowered graduate student and fortunately as a teacher being able to work very closely with graduate students as a professor of English, as director of graduate studies in a PhD program at Missouri, as assistant associate and dean of the graduate school at Missouri, and now in my current role where with Connected Academics I see the main role being not only 
reshaping for intellectual interests and the purposes of the world what our PhD programs in the humanities do, but to em enable students to take control of their careers wherever they want to go. And control of their careers not to leave the academy or to stay in the academy, but to decide how to shape the academy over the next 50 years. I think our academic disciplines and our structures of employment, the ways we teach, the way we do research, all of this is going to be reshaped by the brilliant graduate students that I see at work at my university and other universities today. So when I think empowerment, it's not empowerment simply in a sense of giving students the opportunity and understanding their skills and being effective on a job market in order to take one career or another career, but it's the knowledge and the ability to um, put into place a vision for academic culture of teaching and research that might not resemble, except in certain ways, the situations in which they live right now. So I'm less concerned with sort of on the basis of my wisdom and experience telling students what they should do or how they should do it than giving them the freedom to run, the freedom to think, the opportunities within the shape of what a curriculum looks like, what a dissertation looks like, how to navigate the job market, how I as a dean try to create uh, job opportunities both in the tenure track and elsewhere in the university for the unbelievably brilliant people that I see coming up through the ranks today. So what I would tell my colleagues is get out of the way and help. And what I would tell to students to do is seize every opportunity, don't be quiet, make your voices heard, and do the best for yourself. And hold us as faculty and as administrators, um, uh, hold us to account in terms of giving you what you need, the tools you need, the knowledge you need, the time and space you need, to do the work that I know you're capable of doing. Being empowered and being proactive go hand in hand. As a graduate student, I think it's really easy to feel that like you're at the mercy of forces that are bigger than yourself. You're at the mercy of the academic job market. You're at the mercy of your department. You're at the mercy of your advisor or, or your committee. Um, but there's actually a lot that you can do to take control of your situation. Um, and one of those things that you can do is if the academic job, mar job market is something that is causing you anxiety um, and it's something that causes most graduate students anxiety, then you can think about what other things are out there and you can take steps towards uh, carving out a different path for yourself should you know either should you decide that the academic market is not for you or should you decide or should that the academic market make that decision for you there's all sorts of things that you can do you can find a part-time job you can start doing informational interviews with people in fields that you're interested in um, you can start networking you can start bu building that network that will be so useful for you when you when you when you finish and are looking for a job um, all of those things are going to make you feel so much more empowered and feeling empowered is going to make you a better candidate on whatever job market you go on eventually. I think that an empowered graduate student is someone who is confident in their abilities and empowered to choose among the range of career options open to them. They don't feel like a passive product of their PhD education, but rather the producer of their own education. And they feel empowered by their program and their advisor to find the career path that's the best fit for them. I think that an empowered graduate student is a student who understands that their PhD, their, their trajectory as a graduate student is as individualized as their dissertation. Um, a graduate student gets to make choices intellectually about the dissertation that they produce and similarly a, an empowered graduate student gets to make choices about how they utilize campus resources throughout their time in graduate school to successfully transition into whatever career they end up in as a result of their time in graduate school. So for me, a, an empowered graduate student is one who has people to commiserate with and empower themselves with, and ultimately people who support them calling the shots.